that end of my video, I noticed in the uh, Get Off the X forum, some guys are talking about boots. I did a video last year on the uh, RG response gear uh, boots from Best uh, uh, Big Five. You can see that one came unzipped a little bit. I'm going to pull that up. But uh, I, I use these as work boots, and they're actually pretty good stuff. And one of the reasons I really like them is there's no break-in period. Okay, now I've got my Ego boots are uh, Matterhorns, okay, that, that was kind of like the hot shit they have on um, e uh, private purchase boots that you were allowed to wear on duty in the military back in the early 90s, and those boots definitely lasted 20 years. The problem is that as you age and gain weight, your feet will splay, right? Your, your feet start out like this, after several years they kind of uh, it, it, they're, it's the same basic for it, but it spreads a little bit, okay, from, from all that weight. And so what happened is I went from 11 and a half to 12, and I can still kind of wear the 11 and a half footwear if I'm off my feet a lot. If I'm on my feet, you know, it's like I got I to gotta go a little bigger. The other thing that happened in the Marine Corps was we're doing a lot of force march type stuff, and the habit is to tighten your boots up a lot okay you're, you're walking you're hiking the boots loosen a little bit so you tighten up the laces and what happened when i go to wear boots um over time you're tightening them up so much you're cutting off the circulation everywhere and w what would happen is my leg would actually be thicker here than it is under the boot when i would wear those all the time now, what, the other thing that happens is you, you start thinking in the short term that actually helps get weight off your ankles, which is a weak link in the whole system, and it starts making it where some of your weight's being borne by this part of the boot as you tighten it down, and so it relieves your feet a little bit to wear the boots and shoes really tight. The downside of that is, is that you, you know you can develop other circulation problems and grow toenail problems. Um, of course, lack of air circulation around your feet and all that kind of a thing. But in lower stress circumstances where I'm not hiking long distances, but I stand on my feet a lot, that's where these cheaper response gear boots. Uh, I found them to be pretty good. You get them at Big Five Sporting Goods, twenty nine, thirty nine dollars a pair. Uh, there's a hunter version. Uh, I, I prefer the side zipper boots. There's a hunter version. It's about 80 bucks with kind of a leather and fancier camouflage. The, the thing is about these is there's no break-in period at all. Okay, your government issue boots are they require a break-in period, and there are things that can actually screw those boots up during a break-in period. And one of which is the heels can get worn down if you if you spend a lot of time on those things. Uh, it, 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 especially in my Marine Corps boots, by the time you finish boot camp, your, your heels on the boots have to be replaced. And what I found was that premium hiking boot soles, like the Vibram soles, they, uh, you don't really replace the heels on those. You get the Vibram soles put on and that's that for that pair of boots. And it's an upgrade, but for people that aren't going to spend $100, $150, $200 on a pair of boots, these response gear boots are made for, uh, they look military because they're for, you know, uniform services at the municipal level, uh, security guards, firefighters, law enforcement, that sort of a thing. There's a large enough market for those that you're going to see them at, uh, you know, local retail stores, big five sporting goods. And... There's no break-in period. You, you put them on, you, can, you, you wear them out of the store, that's that. It's not like you have to ease your way into wearing them. So, I, I know there's a lot of arguments in favor of getting two or $300 boots for various purposes, uh, especially loggers, because loggers are extremely hard on boots. But for most uh, use, and for me at work, uh, this isn't a steel toe boot required type thing. But the, uh, I gotta have the foot support because I spend a lot of time on my feet. The response gear boots are pretty good. And for somebody who's doing a, you know, airsoft, tactical activity, security guard, uh, security training, firefighter, EMT, I think you're gonna do just fine with these. There's also a tan version. Uh, what they don't have is a green version that would correspond to like, let's say the OD green jungle boots that were kind of 
famous for 30, 40 years. And I wish they had more colors than just black or tan, but they don't. So anyway, that's that's my response on the boot argument. Um, you know, for 200 bucks, you could afford six pair of these. And I, I buy a pair, you know, pair a year, pair every seven or eight months. Uh, they, they're not bad, but you are going to wear through them faster than you would wear through $200 boots.